It just made it for my intro. Ensign Azure. Lieutenant Kramer, welcome. Glad to see you. <laughs> Ooh, 10. I love that. Chunky. Oh, Lieutenant Kramer, I thought you were saying you were Lieutenant Hitch. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you're in now. It's good to see you. Chunky. What's up, baby? Who else was here? Anybody? Lieutenant Kramer, Ensign Azure. Oh, yeah. Chunky Jordy, Lisa Ooten. Wonderful. Thanks for being here, guys. Lisa Ooten, I don't have you as a moderator on this channel. I want, I want you all to be moderators. I've made a decision. Lisa Ooten, moderator. Yes, you are now a moderator. Chunk, you're a moderator too. So everybody's a moderator. Can't distinguish. You're two or three of you here at a live stream. You're going to be a moderator. Then you welcome the people. Yeah, I don't know how this works. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. I'm having so much fun. But we've 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 made some uh I made some adjustments. That's what I wanted to announce today. So it was a surprise live stream. Oh Keith, thanks. Yeah, we miss Kramer. But uh he's uh he's taking care of uh retired uh cadets. Yeah, he's on a uh a little sabbatical. Oprah voice. You're a moderator. You're a moder moderator. <laughs> What's an Oprah voice? You're a moder yeah, I'll have to look that up. If you have a link to Oprah doing something like that, it'd be hilarious. I think I think I know what you're talking about. So yeah, the clocks the clocks went back on Sunday or forward on Sunday. I have an ongoing argument with my uh, lovely wife Christine about uh, you know whether the time. Uh, goes at <laughs> least uh, the time goes uh, forward, or we lose an hour or gain an hour. She should be here any minute. But uh, it it's to me uh, when when the clocks go forward, I feel like we gain an hour. And uh, my lovely wife says we uh, lost an hour. Now Ensign uh, said uh, where 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 uh, she is. Uh, they don't change the clock, so. Uh, everybody else changed the clocks. <laughs> she was late for work or almost late for work. That's hilarious. I get it. I, I hate it. I, I am, I am dying over here trying to, trying to, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't understand it. Why didn't they just leave it alone? And now our Brit, British folks, apparently it's a month later before they decide to, uh, do the daylight saving times thing. Yeah, you lose it. Yeah, you gain it. Hours light. We lose it in November. Oh, thank you. Oh, good job, Benson. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> what? Oh, it's not working. Why? Oh, Creator Studio. Why? Huh. It's giving me Creator Studio. Why? Why? No, can't get it. Deb Allen. What's up, Deb Allen? My lovely wife, Christine. Hello, Chris. That link didn't work, Ensign. Hitch, what's up? Yeah, Hitch was telling me he was going to check in. Good to see you, Hitch. Deb Allen, nice to see you. XXX. Christine, a little late. We were talking about uh, setting the clocks ahead or setting them back, and uh, I believe that this time, when, when we move the clocks from uh, 6 to 7, we gained an hour. And uh, I'm cool, baby. And uh, my, my lovely wife says that we lost an hour. Thank you, Ensign. And uh, Hitch says we gained an hour. Apparently in UK, they changed the clocks for school kids in Scotland. Freedom! So they weren't going to school in the dark on their own. Hmm. Yeah. What was that link you sent, uh, Ensign? Um, it's not for some reason it's not working. It's annoying me. I want I want to put the Oprah things. It's old now. <laughs> I've lost that window. Oprah. Yeah, I know it's not working. I'm clicking on it. I'm clicking on it, and I get nothing. Now I get Creator Studio. I don't know why. That's weird. Watch P. Yeah. Uh, maybe if I take out the studio. Let me see. I know what I do. Let's see what happens here. 
It's still funny. Ah, here we go. <laughs> what? What was the what was the reason you said Oprah voice? You're a moderator. You're a moderator. Oh, because she gives the car. Okay, here, here, here. Hilarious. This is what Ensign was talking. About. She said Oprah voice. A special in the audience. Now listen to me carefully. Is being given a special package, and I don't want you to open it. Do if you not know what I mean. Cameras are on you, so do not open until I tell you. All right, open your boxes. Open your boxes. One, two, three. The hell did they get? Oh, they got cars. Everybody gets to be Everybody a moderator. Everybody in the audience, now listen to wow, me carefully. that was good. I appreciate that. Very funny. Nice ensign. Yeah, Christine, I already explained it. When the clocks go ahead one hour, it goes from 24 hours to 25 hours. And when the clock goes back one hour, it goes from 24 to 23. See, no. I, I don't. That doesn't. I can't. I don't know if it's my stupid monkey brain, but I just look at it very simply. I look at it very simply. So, simply, S I M P E L Y. You were so jealous when when everybody else got a car. Well, you're going to become a moderator too. So everybody became a moderator. That's why uh, Ensign said that. So all the regulars are moderators now. Yeah, Balan, you want to be a moderator? You show up a little bit here and there. It's fall back, spring forward. Yeah, Deb Allen. Fall back, spring forward. So fall back means they, they in the fall, they pull the clock back. So it was 7 o'clock, and then all of a sudden it's 6 o'clock, right? Is that the way it works? Uh, let's, let, let me, let me see. Uh, fall, time change, U.S. Okay, so... Daylight savings time began at 2 a.m. and do the do the clocks. So daylight savings times in the United States. <laughs> D yes, you want to be a moderator. Uh, daylight saving time changes. Yeah, fall back. Okay, sunrise is set one hour later on March, and there was more light in the evening. So in in March, daylight savings time started. The clocks were turned. For See. So March 14th, the clocks were turned forward one hour to Sunday to 3 a.m. So how does that not gaining an hour? And then when it ends, and Sunday, two o'clock are turned backward, so you lose an hour. Am I wrong? It's you're hurting my brain. Bill and Bob have a meeting tomorrow. The clocks go forward. Bob doesn't change his watch. Who loses an hour? Oh! <laughs> no, no, we didn't lose the hour. How, if the time went from six to seven, do we lose it? I don't understand. The prisoners jump for joy during springtime. <laughs> you lose an hour going forward. When I'm going forward, I'm gaining. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not losing. I'm gaining an hour. I'm totally gaining an hour in my day. Because I'm going to get up the same friggin' time. Bob. <laughs> You're calling me Bob? Because I didn't change my watch? I do change my watch. I don't have a watch. Who wears a watch? An imaginary... How? I get up the same time. Beast nonsense. That's... Yeah. True. I don't understand why people get so aggravated that I don't, I just won't do it. I just won't go along with it the way, the way they say. I'm not going to say spring ahead, fall behind, or fall behind and spring ahead. It's, was it spring behind, fall ahead? I don't care. All I know is that when I wake up, the time is the same because now it's auto clocks. If new clocks go back, they have, they have my phone. Yeah, Chunky, that's it. See, Hitch and, and Christine, they need to convince. And it seems Lisa Wooten's in on it, too. Deb, maybe a little. Understand. <laughs> uh, 
That's the way I look at it. My phone, now that everything changes automatically, I don't care. All I do know is that it messes up this fat man's uh, entire biology. I don't know when to wake up or when to go to bed. Yeah, right. It's harmful and pointless. Amen. Except they want some more sunlight. I mean, I, I, you know, not to, you know, my lovely wife, Christine, she does love if he's yelling at me now. <laughs> it shits out of his mind. I want you to know this is not the first conversation uh, Lieutenant Hitch and I have had over this, including Christine. <laughs> yeah, she shall. I don't change. Well, you don't have to. Oh my God, hilarious. Yeah, time change. Yeah. Deb Allen. No, I'm lost when it comes to computers. Okay, so you don't want to be a moderator. Okay, that's good. I appreciate that. Then you're a guest. And we'll always be a guest. We love you, though. We're glad you're here. <sighs> it will. Yes. Well, today I'm I'm just uh, doing a... Uh, this was an off-the-cuff late, late afternoon... Um, yeah, new topic. Uh, late afternoon uh, uh, live stream, and the reason the reason I want to do it is because we uh, we're going to be doing a, a a different channel because uh, you know I like the community, I like the community, but I don't get anything done if I'm just playing around with all all, all my friends in the Creator Earth environment. So ain't nobody got the time for that. <laughs> you see, I like this. So I like doing these live streams, 1 o'clock, uh, maybe every other day, every chance I get. You know, ain't nobody got the time for that. That's just hilarious. <laughs> I'm wheezing over here. Um, so what I've decided to do, because now I've got two channels. I don't know that I really need the two channels. I mean, I, I started the Creator Earth channel uh, because... Uh, uh, COTLG was taken down for seven seven days. I couldn't upload onto COTLG, so I wanted to let everybody know. So I I, I created the Creator Earth channel, and it's fun. It's nice to have it, and it it's definitely different. But I can only talk about Creator Earth stuff here, Creator Earth USA, which makes sense. COTLG is a variety of topics. Just about anything is okay there. Three o'clock. You only need them to, need them to time cook. Yeah, time cook is true. Now, especially that uh, Chris and I are both on our uh, coronation still. But uh, so, so this um, this this new channel. Let me show it to you. Uh, then we'll we'll get into the suffocated Dallas. But this is a uh, creation nation. This is. I'm not sure if I'm just you know. Again, this is this is more of a hobby than a movement for me. Uh, but but I do want to put uh, content up. You know, and I like I like making videos. So, uh, but I don't, I don't have, I don't have a good, uh, I'm not, I'm not a very, uh, mm, what's the word? Hmm. What's the word? Christine, what's the word? You know, I, I could change my mind on a dime. So, so in other words, <clears throat> if I say tomorrow, I'm going to make, uh, five, uh, videos, you know, fake space, Fake and I know you guys like the the impossible architecture, the fake space. Uh, when I dress up like I'm in the uh, NASA guy in the uh, space uh, station, you know, I want to do that stuff. Uh, uh, Bible studies, things like that. Fickle. <laughs> sure. Changing frequent. Oh, wow! Damn, that's a. That's a killer word. Fickle means changing frequently, especially as regards to one's loyalties, interests, or affections. Hmm. Likely to change, especially due to caprice, irresolution, or instability. Casually changing. Wow. Damn. Yeah, well, fickle's a little harsh. But... I mean, I am loyal beyond uh, to a fault. I can tell you that. But yeah, I, I, ch I, I change. I, and, and you know what it is? It's just easily. No, no, no. It's not that. It's not any of that. Thank you. It's, it's, I, I'm, um, 
what do you call it? I, I procrastinate. I definitely like to procrastinate. And I like to start things, but I don't finish them. I'm a good a starter. Yeah, unpredictable, not bad. Thank you. Yeah, unpredictable is fine. Which is which is all, these are all, as far as I'm concerned, well, I, I'm definitely not lazy. You know, I'm always doing something, but I get it. But sometimes, you know, if you're doing stuff that's just, that doesn't produce any fruit, that's considered laziness. I think what you're thinking is sloth. Yeah, I go down rabbit holes and I get started. Like, like what happened, you know, uh, you know, getting, getting all caught up in, uh, you know, I, I spent, let's just give you an example. And I love the guy. I miss him. His Nuno. Let's say Sergeant Nuno. And, and everybody that's here remembers Nuno. I spent a long time making that avatar for Nuno. As stupid as it seems, it spent, I spent a long time making that. Now, that could have been a, a video. All right, guys, stop taking my inventory. You can stop now. Thank you. I was looking for one word. It got fickle. It was enough. But you get so much other stuff done when one's procrastinate. I know. It's true because I do stay busy. I mean, if I'm not doing this, I'm doing something else or I'm doing something with my lovely wife or my dog or whatever. But all right. Yeah. Shut up. Stop it. You're. Yeah. Rest your case. I'm going to rest. Rest my case on your head. But anyway. Uh, I love you guys, but but I spent a lot of time on Nuno. That could have been that could have been a video, and then but but I get caught up in the. But now that's not a bad thing because look look who's here. You know we got uh, Kramer checked in, Ensign's here, Chunky's always here, uh, Lisa's always here. You know uh, Hitch is Hitch is checking in. My lovely wife's here. This is lovely, and then we get we get some regulars that come in once in a while. I really do enjoy this it, tremendously. I really do, and it's good for my health. So why am I saying all this? Because because if if I need to be um I need to be accountable and that that that's something you know in recovery or in, in Christianity or in any kind of uh, uh relationship where uh, you, you know you want to do the right thing a lot of times you you, you become accountable to someone uh, uh and uh, they become your accountability partner. It's just a concept and it works to some extent. And you want you want to have that person uh, accountable. You, you set appointments, you set times, and you, you know you set limits and things like that. And uh, but you make sure make sure you show up um, here when not busy when this is six. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, that that's a, that's exactly right. So do I want to do I want to snuggle with my puppy or do I want to go live today? You know, or do I want to sit by my computer for four hours trying to make a, a video? You know, and and it's it's not easy. Uh, and I'm not saying it's it's difficult, but but it's it's not easy when you're a beginner. You don't have uh, four years of graphics uh, uh, training from from a university or, or a computer school, and I don't. So I have to learn everything as I go. So for those people that also plus plus the fact is that 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 a lot of you uh, that come to this channel watching this either now live or or later, you know, another time, you you may be motivated yourself to uh want to spread the word. And the only way uh <laughs> yeah, we're a secret gang, Deb Allen. But the the only way to really get this out there to family and friends, you know, uh I mean I mean not family and friends, but to folks that you're meant to reach. Because, you know, once you tell tell your family you live in a crater or you believe this stuff even a lot of the stuff i i go over on just cotlg even if you're still religious in the b system it's you 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 might as well be in a cult like like deb allen just said uh, it's a, a cyber gang <laughs> it's fantastic and uh so uh i did um you know, and I, and I want to take uh, advice and opinions and 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 like uh, Lisa, you asked for uh, uh, Crater Earth USA T-shirts, so I made a few, and they're up there, and I'm going to show them. But I'm, I'm not expecting you to buy it, but you asked for it, I put it up there. Okay, now now this is the stuff. If people have T-shirt ideas, if they have merchandise ideas, things they want, if they want to do work for the channel, we can discuss it. Yeah, I know it's 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 family. Amen. Thank you, Lisa. Me too. I, I think uh, I'm gonna do a little heart. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, you know, uh, let's see. I can't find the heart so easily every time. Oh, that's not gonna work. So annoying. 
Yeah, you're gonna get a and a red heart, I think. Even work? No, it didn't work. Anyway, heart, heart, I heart you. Tea towels for the British. Oh my God, how hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Buona Sera, Signorina. My lovely wife was asking about you today. Buona Sera, Signorina, Buona Sera. That's for Marilyn, if, for those of you who don't know. Tea towels for the British. That's awesome. I can't talk to anyone. They all think you can buy moon rock off you. <laughs> moon rocks, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm with you. So that's that's who I am and what, what I'm doing. But in the meantime, if, if you guys want to... Um, yeah, I found them. Want to make your own videos? Anybody who's interested, uh, like, created this uh, channel here we go I'm glad you're still here this is creation nation now I I, I struggled a little bit with the name I was going to put uh, the uh, the e in parentheses but uh, YouTube doesn't let me use parentheses in a channel name so I mean there's so many creation nations out there I use my obligatory Illuminati uh, one eye this was totally by accident by the way if you could see this uh, image uh, it's totally by accident. A while ago, I was uh, just, you know, I used a magnifying glass to, um, can I open the image? Oh, yeah. Um, um, I, use, I use a magnifying glass sometimes to read <laughs> small print. <laughs> and, uh, I just took the picture before I even knew about the one eye stuff. So it's been there. And now I use, I'm using it whenever I want to do the Illuminati stuff, you know? And uh, so Creation Nation, though, just so you know, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be doing it with Hitch. And uh, what we're going to be doing, uh, anybody else that wants to uh, participate, but it's going to be in the morning. So unfortunately, some of you work that, that I would have liked to have a part of this. But for now, it's going to be me and Hitch. And... Uh, uh, we're going to do, um, my grandfather used a mag also. What's a mag? Oh, a magnifying glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Now, anyway, I remember when I could thread a needle, uh, when I was in the military, we had to do all our own sewing. Yeah, no, I have to use that magnifying glass. But anyway, so, so I put, put together this quick channel. And uh, what we're going to do is live streams, easy Kramer, live streams in the uh, in the morning uh, here. So I'll be doing them around 11 o'clock. I got to work this all out. So be doing around 11 o'clock and we're going to make videos. In other words, and, and, and also here, let me read the about page. I did it yesterday. If you were here, sorry. But the about page is, uh, you know, hey, folks, uh, now that we know we live in a crater on a greater earth, we need to make videos. Uh, I'm here to help. Join me on my live streams as I make videos for my Two Truth of Channels, Crater Earth USA, COTLG. We'll make videos on topics related to this new normal Aquarian world together, and I will share tips, tutorials, and tricks regarding the process. See you at my next live stream. Now, now a lot, a lot of people uh, like this stuff, and, and it, it may also help, help me grow uh, so that we can uh, be making a, an income you know, in other ways, then I mean, keep bust, busting your guys' chops to buy T-shirts and stuff. But tutorials work, and uh, you know, it, if I'm doing a tutorial, like for instance, uh, let's uh, let's say I'm doing a tutorial and, I, and I'm doing a Canva, so I'm, I want to make a, a, a I finish the video, and we make the video right, and then I, I want to make a thumbnail, so and I use Canva, so I would do a Canva. Uh, a tutorial similar to this. Uh, Hitch will be in here somewhere if he if he wants, you know. But uh, let's say we have a crater hit. So I got recently used. I'll show you how how I uh, how to download Canva, whatever, you know, and how I do my editing and stuff like that. And you know, I've learned a lot since I started this. And uh, so, you know, it I, I definitely can uh, help, you know. Uh, get people started with this kind of stuff and how to download the different types. There's so there's so much to do in these in these programs, you know. Uh, just to give you an idea, you know, and then uh, replace the background if I want. I could delete this and, you know, uh, 
And then, you, you know, I have in here, I have all our own, uh, all the stuff that uh, <laughs> I'll put in here. You know, and it just had a thing, you know, remove backgrounds. I mean, there's so much that can be done here. Easy, Christine. And, you know, a little bit of stuff like that. It's just, uh, <laughs> now, now I'm, in, I'm into it. I don't want to stop. But we Canva, and then, then I use, um, I use Filmora uh, for the video editing, so I could show people how we, how we do this, you know, um, like making the movie night thing. Drop it into the editor, and uh, you know, you could do different things with it. Like you could change the the title. Like if I want to do mo movie night, and now we'll have another movie night. Um, You know, I could uh, change the title in here, things like that. Like if we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do, uh... yeah. Go over to Ensign Azure channel um, if you want to put a link for it. Ensign, she's got some nice stuff. But I think you're you're streaming. Well, you 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 tell them if they want to go over there. Um, you know, whatever the whatever it might be. You know, whatever you're doing. I mean, it's easy. It's it's inexpensive. Um, yeah, yeah. She's on Twitch, and um, ah, uh, thanks. Yeah, the the collages are great. Uh, but even on Twitch, you could put your uh, link on Twitch, and uh, also her um, YouTube channel too it's just if you want to see some of the things that she created with this stuff but um yeah i mean you can change it up. and then how to save export all that kind of stuff you know, so if people are interested in that kind of stuff it's uh that's what we're gonna be doing on that channel so if you would subscribe to it i'd appreciate it i will be putting the link in the chat I'd like to get to 100 subscribers so that I can name the channel. I, it, it doesn't get me any monetization or anything, but um, I can name the channel uh, for search engines. Once I get uh, 100. You just bought a t-shirt? You didn't even look. I was going to show you. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> Which one did you get? All right, so here's here's the T-shirts. Let's let's get this done. This one was actually thank you, uh, Ensign. This one was actually um, this was inspired by you, Lisa. This one here, because <laughs> you always dance, dancing in the crater. We have dancing in the crater T-shirt now. Um. Why is this not working? It's it in the crater. We've got, uh, okay, here's the one that someone wanted. The Crater Earth USA with rock letters. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Thank you, Lisa. Uh, this one here. The regular white letters, if you just like it simple. Creator Earth USA. All right, Ensign, thanks. Yeah, go over, subscribe to Ensign's channel, support her. See, that's that's the kind of thing that makes me feel good. If we could get people Creator Earth Stone, that'll be my next one. <laughs> which one did you which one did you want get? Which one did you get? Uh Lisa? You know what I say? Well, I could tell you. Well, I don't know. They don't tell me which ones. And then, of course, I have the, the Satan hat, which I'm actually going to be wearing. I did order one. God give Lampsy. Let's recapitulate. I, I put a politically incorrect Crater Earth wife beater. <laughs> Two color choices. But uh, the wife beater? Did you buy the wife beater? I got the uh, Let's Recapitulate ho hoodie and all that kind of stuff. And then the Blessed Girl. So I'm going to have Creator Girl. I'll show you some of the designs that uh, 
uh, going to be put on t-shirts. And she put the wife beater. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. It's pretty funny. Uh, oh. Uh, maybe they're still in uh, downloads. One sec. Yeah. All right. So I don't know if I like Crater Man. Where's the hubby beater? <laughs> yeah, I told you it was PC. Wow. I told you it was in a p politically incorrect. This one I like. Crater Girl. That's going on. Um, Crater Besties. If two people want to get them. <laughs> Awesome Crater Kids. That's going to be white on a. If you want to put. I like this is my personal favorite. Crater Bunny. Yeah, well, we're going to get tote bags. Crater Baby. Crater Soccer Mom. I figure maybe uh, if uh, our soccer uh, mom comes back. Crater Besties. I like that, right? Crater Bunny. Yeah. Crater Aviator. <laughs> Another crater girl dancing in the crater. Team crater. This may be, which one do you need? Crater bunny? <laughs> Team crater. If anybody wants to buy an Ensign Azure crater bunny t-shirt, let me know. Just PayPal me, uh, paypal.me forward slash lou.fiori. 28 bucks. We'll send her a t-shirt. Um, Team crater uh, will be, once we do, once we advance to where we're, um, doing uh what they call uh well you probably all know about it it's patreon uh when you join and uh you commit to be like a dollar a month uh contributor on patreon for uh, extra type of content um then uh did i show you create a cowboy <laughs> you could create a cowboy you like the creator i like create a cowboy but anyway so uh, my lovely wife has to get these all up on T-shirts, and yeah, Chunky, um, we will uh, we will put this stuff on tote bags. They have it, and that's that's part of the that's the thing now. If I'm doing tutorials, then I can get stuff done. See, if I if if I'm doing a tutorial on how to sell merchandise, Captain Crater, oh, Captain Crater Chaos, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might work too. It's good stuff. Yeah, so uh, a crater hater? <laughs> you know what? Maybe that should be the wife beater. I'm going to write these down. It's pretty funny. All right, so we got uh, tote bags. Crater hater. How about don't be a crater hater? And then Crater Hater. And we got Captain... Captain Crater... Chaos. Nice. Homer Simpson. Ah, I could put... Can I put Homer on a t-shirt? I guess I could try. The worst they can do is sue me. Nobody bought a gizmo. <laughs> I should buy that. It's my puppy, right? Showing his teeth. Yeah, I get it. Crater Earth with flame. JT33. Holy crap. Who the hell was that? What's up, JT33? Crater Earth with flames. Damn. So if you guys, I put the link, uh, not that you have to attend these live streams, you know, I it, there is an expectation for COTLG and especially Crater Earth USA when everybody shows up, it feels great. But uh, 33, I know. Wimp's pick, I, I have Wim's eyes on the t-shirt. I, I asked him if he wanted to, but the uh, the God Give Wimpsies, those are his eyes. It's his self portrait, I believe, on his on his website. So let's recapitulate. That's that's uh, God. Let's see. 
Yeah, I would have to ask. I'll ask Homer myself. I'll give him a call. Ugh. Welcome, JT33. Nice to see you. I believe you were here before. I'm not sure. But, you know, if, if you could go to that channel, I'll just put the link in again and, and subscribe. I want to get to 100 and uh, share. Share it if you could. But we'll see what happens there. But in the meantime, so there, we'll, we'll do stuff like what we're doing now. Yeah, I could. I could, uh, you know, we could we could do stuff like we're doing now um, at, at when we do our live streams. We'll go over a little. And then the, then the live streams will be just, just uh, you know, we, we could take one of the videos that, that, I, that I made and uh, we could uh, premiere it. This is actually, I'm just thinking of this now. So let's say we make a video about... Uh, Sulpicus Gallus, which we're gonna do now, uh, and and we make that video, and then um, on uh, one of the live streams of Creation Nation, so that's done. So the video's now; it's in the pockets, ready to go. And if it's a Creator Earth video, then during live streams, we can we can premiere the video, and it'll stay up separate as uh, in the uploads and in the live stream. And we have we have one uh, version of it, just straight video, and one version of it where we will be uh, chatting and stuff. And then I don't have to sit here doing searches and uh, finding stuff. And we could just watch the video, discuss it, and have a lot of fun. Thank you, Deb Allen. I appreciate it. So let's get to today's topic. Uh, and I'll, I'll just show you now. If we're, let's say, let's say we're on Creation Nation and we're talking about how we're going to make this video. So what I'm using is Streamlabs, uh, which show people uh, how, how I'm doing it. Um, oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Uh, do move. So let's say I take my Streamlabs up here, and we're we're live streaming on Streamlabs. Now you can see it's a little hard to follow, but what I would be doing is I I would show people that I'm recording now. You know, I'm gonna record, and I'm gonna go to the blank screen, and then I'll be doing the intro. The following presentation you know, is intended for showing you how I record stuff, and then where it's saved. You know. So it'll be saved in videos, you know, it'll be right there, the videos. And then uh, sometimes we'll have to do a, a second edit, you know, but uh, most most of the time not. Um, most of the time not. So I'm going to make one now, and we'll do the Sulphicus Gallum any, M anyway, because we're not ready to deal with this yet. Um, but I'm going to make that uh, into a video, so I'll just show you now. I'm going to go blank for a second, just bear with me. is intended for immature audiences. Hey cadets, this is Luke the Ari from Creator of USA. Today we're going to be exploring our creator a little, from a little different perspective. We've been going into the creator a lot. And uh, today we're gonna we're gonna go uh, we're just gonna uh, contemplate why did they name it Sulpicus Gallus M? That's what we're gonna compliment com contemplate today. What the hell kind of name is that? You know, so so we we've done all the crater names. We've we've we we've gone over them, right? We you know Serenity. We did we did a video. Uh, during a live stream where we um, we looked at all the the different crater names uh, surrounding. You know what? Let me just uh, let me put that up. Moon crater. So we did this moon crater names. Yeah, you know, list of craters on the moon. Yeah, you know, a lot of Latin translations, right? And uh, so here's all the craters. Margentin, Theophilus, The Bit, Stoffler, Piccolomini, Russell. These are prominent craters on the near side of the moon. So, so what are the names about? So, obviously, we've got some astronomy icons, Jesuit language. Yeah, uh, thanks, Kramer. Uh, look at this, Aristoc Aristocarchus. Now, now, what we're what we've been doing. 
Oh. <laughs> See, now, now I would have to end it. If we were doing this on, uh, on uh, Creator Nation, we would have to edit it. So now what I'll have to do is go back here and say, oh, I didn't put the screen up. Thanks, thanks, Hitch. But now I'll have Hitch with me during the Creator Nation to say, put the screen up, stupid. Okay, so display in lieu. There we go. All right. Anyway, so yeah, so we got all the different creator names. So why is ours Sulphicus Gallum? All right? I got Copernicus. It didn't make the cut because it's in a, it's in a C. So I believe the uh, the Maria. That's what they call it. The mares. Yeah, here. So mare, mare tranquilitas. I think we're in uh, mare serenity. Our creator. Or tran tranquility, one of those two. But they're seas. Why do they call them seas? I don't know. I don't know. But ours is uh is let's see, Sulpicus Gallum M. So smart view of Sulpicus Gallum M from the ESA. Uh, no, it's not really the greatest. Um, let me just open the image over here. So pretty sure this is what they're calling Sulpicus Gallimen. Just look at, you know, when, when you look at this, you just think, my goodness, if this is true, and I really do believe it is, that may be it. But can you see the dome? I want to show you something. So uh, let's just go over the name. Just real quick, just, just get this out there. So this is the guy who uh, our crater was named after. It's Gaius. Gaius Sulpicus Sulpicius Gallus. So it's actually, it's, it's not Sulpicus, it's Sulpicius. I say it incorrectly. I don't, really, let me see if I can um, get Google to pronounce it. I have to, I want to put Sulpicus definition. Let me see. No, they didn't. They don't attempt it. World of Dictionary. Let's see. Do they have a pronunciation now? Oh well. I think it's the those pesky Romans. I think it's a sh sound on the C. So, so picius. No, you're thinking Italian, right? So pick. Yes, so pick yes. Yeah. If anybody ever finds a, a sound bite, it'd be great. But uh, yeah, so it's named after um, this Roman dude. Uh, he was a general states statesman and orator of the Roman Republic. Now, the Roman Republic is uh it was the era of classical roman civilization led by the roman people beginning with the overthrow of the roman kingdom traditionally dated back to 509 bc and ending in 27 bc with the establishment of the roman empire during this period rome's control uh, i mean how does that i just don't understand why if it's our creator why would they pick this guy but here's what happened. Uh, during this period, Rome's control expanded from the city's immediate surroundings to uh, political or economic or military predominance or control of one state. Okay, so over the entire Mediterranean world, uh, Roman society under the Roman Republic was a cultural mix of Latin and uh, Etruscan. Etruscan. Uh, it's a civilization. It's now Tuscany. So these are the um, the the light skin, light haired Italians. I was in Greek cultures. Um, when did this uh, here look here? So this is this one. All right. At home, the Republic similarly experienced a long streak of social and political crises, which ended in severe, violent civil wars. At first, the conflict of the orders. To Patric uh, Patri Patrician Pat Patricians, Patricians, and far more numerous plebes who finally achieved political equality. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, the vast conquests of conquests of the Roman Republic disrupted society. 
and the immense influx of slaves they brought enriched the arist uh, arist aristocracy. I can't, uh, uh, I can't aristocratic, I'll say, but ruined the peasantry and later uh, and urban workers. In order to solve this issue, um, several social reformers known as the populars tried to pass laws. The Gracchi brothers, hey, Gracchi! Uh, they were all murdered by their opponents. Uh, all different types of things. I mean, just going crazy. So then, look at look at when this ends. The the republic uh, exploited uh, their generals exploited the military con conquests. Uh, this is all happening before Rome becomes uh, Christian, dominated blah blah blah. And these multiple tensions led to civil wars. At first, between two generals, Julius Caesar and Pompey. Uh, despite his victory and appointment as dictator for life, Caesar was murdered in forty four. And uh, Rome, you know, in uh, this all happened before before Christ. So then, uh, so th this is this is happening. This is done. So after this, what'd you say? Uh, three twenty two BC Jesuits take over Roman Empire. Hence the skull and bones. Was it three twenty two BC or or AD? Kramer, was was it after? I thought it was after. Um. Yeah, I thought it was after. Let's. So this guy, he served as a a praetor, or, or a praetor was also so a praetor in English. Title granted by the government of ancient Rome to the men acting in one of two official capacities: the commander of an army, and as an elected magistrate, uh, assigned various duties. Okay. Uh, general statesman and order. He served in 1969. Uh, 169. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Uh, he had a friend. He commanded a legion against Persia. Okay. On his return from Macedonia, he was elected council. Same year. Whatever. Okay. And Gallus was a man of great learning, an excellent Greek scholar, and in his later years devoted himself to the study of astronomy. Huh? On which subject he was quote, is quoted as an authority by Pliny, <laughs> the lunar crater Sulpicus Gallus is named after him. He was able to predict a lunar eclipse in the year 168 and was regarded by his contemporaries as a man of great learning on this account. But the uh, Rome destroyed. Uh, we we went through. I you know I'm gonna be doing this. We we went through the Jesuits. Let me just see. Um. Uh. Just want to clarify that date that you gave me there. Well, the Society of Jesuits was 1534. If you think about it, but it's, it's um. But I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was Jesuits then. Uh, but. It was definitely pagan beliefs, and the the. Uh, I don't want to get go down that rabbit hole right now, but you know, I'm not I'm not sure for those dates. But um, to me, naming our crater specifically, you know, did they know? I'm, I'm under the impression. That as far back as the beginning of beginning of time, which would be Genesis uh, one, this uh, beast time, Genesis two would be you know, uh, and that would be the countdown, and Genesis five is the uh, the rush to get this thing uh, into something, get this creation into something else. But if you got uh, if you name this guy Sulpicus Sulpicius Gallus, that name our crater after this guy, I don't know what the M is for. I think because there's other craters uh, named Sulpicius Gallus. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I believe I believe that the fall of Jerusalem was by by the hand of Rome in seventy, and all the uh, Christians at the time, the believers in the Messiah, were were exterminated pretty much by the end of uh, end of the first century. You know, and. Um, so Rome, Rome took over the world and still runs it. I mean, you just look at the United States where you have uh, Washington, D.C., a corporation uh, in between uh, Virginia and Maryland. You know, so just don't kid yourselves if you think that Rome doesn't rule the world. The Jesuits, yeah. And I'm also going to go over, um, uh, we're going to do a Pope Watch 
uh, this week or next week. It's already late this week. We're going to do a pulp watch. I've been I've been compiling a lot of information on that, and uh, you know, there's a uh, M for mayor. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Good thinking. I'll look into that for like double checking. Yeah. Well, you know, it it's it's okay. You know, it's it's not that important. We know we know <laughs> they rule the world, and uh, and and any anything, you know, if anything, they're the they're the religious sect because they're all Luciferians anyway. Even though, you know, the highest level of Roman Catholic Church, you just it's it's Luciferian. Highest level of Freemasonry is Luciferian. Anything else, it doesn't even matter because if they're not if they're not worshiping the uh, the Creator God or the Lord God through the Christ, then it's Luciferian, period, because he runs everything else. You really can simplify it. Everybody doesn't have to go down all these different rabbit holes trying to tie every single uh, secret society to to uh, Luciferianism. <laughs> it's, it's what it is. Whether they know it or not, you know. But they, but did they know enough to name this this particular crater after this guy what's what's the significance of this guy i mean it's he's was he around from just because great excellent greek scholar in later years study of shot let's see if there's anything else about this guy that's not wikipedia ah You know, most of these uh, websites just um, just echo. They just parrot the stuff. So, yeah, South uh, Mer uh, Serenity. Yeah, Mayor's name. They have to send seven are still in here. Uh, is a small bowl-shaped lunar crater that lies near the southwestern edge of Mare, about 10 kilometers. Oh, moon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a, it means moon. What's that, Hitch? It just sent this. Commencement of the Third Punic War. Oh, my God. That's pretty cool reading. Uh, thanks for that that uh, link. Yeah, I mean, you figure it out. If someone figure it out, but my goodness, look at this. It's a great history. Look over something a little more recent. Let's see. And we're getting Caesar here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <coughs> and this is quite specific. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. It doesn't take us to where I wanted to go, but... Yeah. Thanks for the links, guys. He was rich and into astronomy, so he was given the honor if having his name. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. You're absolutely right. He definitely was a man of, of he was he was a man of renown. <coughs> Excuse me. Sulpicus Gallus, look at this. A. Oh my goodness. I took my, uh, I think I took the. You know, let me take a break and just cough this thing out. I'll be right back.
Okay, so moving on. You know, figuring out. I mean, I just, I just know. I just found it interesting. Let's just, let's just simplify. I'm going to simplify it for me. Um, Greeks, uh, Jesuit, Luciferians. Okay, you know that he made really good genius. <laughs> Throwing in the jokes, Deb. Um, I, I will say this. I, I don't know if it's it, it's too simple. You guys, you guys are taking this a, a deep, and you're going deep, and that's great. It's great, but simply put, uh, once Rome is over, uh, the the religious Rome took over religion, Catholic Catholicism. You know, whether there's other sects or not, sects. The, you know, the Jesuits, even if they were around before three, you know, three twenty two, like Kramer's uh, finding, doesn't matter. I mean, they, 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 their role has changed throughout, throughout the years. We, we, we did a video on them. Their role has changed so many times uh, to, to ultimately be the, uh, prov pr provoc pr provocators. They provocate, but they, 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 uh, provoke a, a dissension in, you know, they get into uh, other religions, other belief systems, other, and they, they put people in governments. And I'm going to do a, a, a movie night where we watch the, uh, the tricentennial separation of the, I mean, celebration of the of Freemasonry. And when you see just in the beginning, I was, I was, I was previewing it. And in the beginning, uh, they, they show a list of all the, um, the lodges throughout, throughout the world. And they go one at a time, and uh, I guess they have representatives from each one of those lodges at this this huge uh, auditorium in, in England. And uh, yeah, parasites. Yeah, man. Well, the parasites I think are in <laughs> in the human in the flesh suits, <laughs> right? But uh, yeah, so uh, these these folks, um, you know, in this in this video uh, presentation, it's it's astounding when you see where they are now. Why are they there? You know. And the same thing with the Jesuits. You know, they have their retreat houses. They have uh, churches. They run churches. They're taking over. And and Benedict uh, resigned. Pope, I believe, was the first pope to ever resign. He resigns. And and uh, I found an article, and I'm going to bring it up during Pope Watch. That 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 was he specifically in his resignation letter. Uh, I couldn't see it. I didn't do a lot of research on it, but he specifically mentions that he's resigning to pave the way for the age of Aquarius and leaving behind the age of Pisces. And now we don't need, now we need Jesuit, um, you know, Jesuits taking over because, uh, yeah, they need a host. Yeah. And, and the beast, you know, that's who's taking over. It's the beast, the parasite taking over. So, you know, they can't affect us. They can try. Uh, going back to uh, just moving away from this, so so I, I just I just found it interesting simply that it's named after a Roman statesman. Now I don't know what this guy really did. I was going to look him up in a million short and just take a quick look if I remove some of the top findings. Maybe maybe there is something uh, sinister or or more. <laughs> oh, what's that? I don't want that there. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Oh, sorry. Okay, so you know, if you don't move, remove any sites, you're gonna get the first ones there. Latin wiki. I'll remove a million sites. Did you see something? You. Hmm. All right. Wait a minute. Look at this here. Christopher Columbus to Thailand's kings. 11. 11 oh, okay. There's curious stories about eclipses and Gallus is in here. Oh, what's this here? See what I found? I didn't, I had to remove a million, a million sites. To get to this, what'd you send here?
orange material was observed and photographed, yeah. Oh, thanks. He's with this room. How did that happen? All right, so here I did a million short. Uh, okay, yeah. All right. Uh, can you do that, uh, Hitch? Um, so I removed a million sites from the results for some... Oh, no, nothing got removed. All right, so it came up here. Christopher Columbus, Thailand's Kings. Let's see. So the eclipse of uh, Sulpicius Gallus. Solar eclipses may have had the greater impact on human history, but eclipses... Of the moon, I've also played a part. Well, that the obsession. Although they don't have the same dramatic effect of darkness, the red color of an eclipse moon caused by right in the fourth century BC, a Roman army preparing to fight the Macedonians uh, were warned not to worry when they saw an eclipse of the moon on the eve of the battle. According to historian Livy and other Roman writers, the military tribune, this guy our creator guy, correctly predicted the lunar eclipse and persuaded the Roman troops that it had nothing to fear. He then explained that on the following night, the moon would lose the, uh, her light her light from the second hour to the fourth, and no one must regard this as a portent, because this happened in the natural order of things at stated intervals and could be known beforehand and predict predicted. Just in the same way, then, as they did not regard the regular rising and setting of the sun and moon, a change in the light of the moon from a full circle to a thin and waning crescent as a marvel, they are not to take its obscuration when it is hidden in the, sh hidden in the shadow for a supernatural portent. Okay. <coughs> Crater on the moon, visible at the right of this NASA image, has been named after him in honor of his... You know what was 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 being seeded here? Could it be that once he once this guy do you see in here that he took he took out now Rome had major impact on all of history, you know? So if this guy, so why did they name our crater this? So they obviously didn't know we were in this crater at the time, I would guess. They might have known of a greater earth, and this guy, in order, you know, knowing the secrets, the, the secrets of, of ancient history, he could have known that the moon was a reflection of the greater earth. He could have known that. Maybe they didn't know exactly, you know, what, what it was. They didn't have the technology. I don't know. But in order to uh, motivate the troops, maybe the secret had to be, maybe he had to share the secret. That just because you're going to see something weird up there doesn't mean that it's going to be a portent of, of calamity. It's not going to be, a, you know, a prediction of calamity, rather. Right? So he he take it... He, he called it. So when the crescent is, is hidden in the shadow of the earth for a supernatural portent. Hmm. It's interesting, right? What's on 2223? Which thing? Hmm. So I wonder. There's got to be some renown, right? Just real quick uh, before I leave. I'm not going to stay on too long today. But uh, this guy is a Raluki DJ Minish because Dolly Brooks brought up that she 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 could see the dome, and um, you know, uh, in the pictures of Sulpicius Gallus on on, um, on uh, Wikipedia. But you know, it's it's can you see it? Do you see it? Do you want to see it? <laughs> That's the way I look at it. You know, when I want to see it, I see it. When I know it's like an optical illusion. But look at this guy, uh, you know, it's all Spanish or whatever here. 
I don't think we need the music. But uh, from what I can make out, you know, it's domes and craters, right? Anybody speak Spanish? So do, do, are we observing a dome over the crater? Now, he, this isn't a crater earther. But look, you know, he spots a dome in the pictures of the moon. Right? A gigantic crater, right? Clementine. So he close to, you know, he can only do so much with the with the graphics, but yeah, there's a dome. Now he's saying it could be a space station. See, right in there. The more in here. And then, you know, could it be what they're building? So who's in uh look at that? Now now this one I wouldn't say man made. But if if I knew what crater it was, you know, I would say you know, ha habitable or one of the planets, right? So he's going down a different uh, road with this, which which isn't un un unreasonable because if we're inhabiting uh, other craters, all the different countries that have recoverable rocket technology are inhabiting craters, setting up space stations, hotels now. So it wasn't anything else on here, just that, you know. I mean, some other stuff, but uh, it's not a it's not a crater Earth -a thing. It's definitely a flat Earther. <laughs> you know, space is all lies, you know, that kind of thing. But interesting channel. Um. So yeah, just uh, I don't know. I mean, something to think about, right? Why did we name this after this guy? But why it didn't remove? Oh, it probably didn't hit search. It takes out all these what's well, here's livius.org. Let's see what's here. Hmm. It's probably the same book that you, you were showing showing us, right? Ancient history, articles on ancient history. I want to know more about his personal life, you know, not really what he did as a, as a, but, but it is interesting to me that it wasn't even like, it's not like he did any kind of extreme, um, research on, on the cause of, I mean, apparently back then they, they weren't supposed to know that earth was a round ball moving in front of the earth, the moon. I mean, that's it right there. That's it. There. That's it right there. They didn't know. They weren't, they're not supposed to have known that, that the, the moon is going to be moving in front of the earth. Or, or it's going to be exactly far enough away from the sun and exactly close enough to the earth that it's going to totally, you know, and perfectly round like the sun and the moon are perfectly round and the earth is perfectly round that when whatever this eclipse was, was going to line up perfectly well, which is absolutely impossible odds of that ever happening. Um... But to with but to be um, but to be a uh, an authority to to tell the to be able to tell the folks convinc convincingly that what you're seeing up there is not what you think enough for them not to fear going to battle right. <laughs> yeah, it's a lawyer. Dude was a lawyer. So I, I don't know. To me, it just seems like if he was, you know, how would he know? How would he know enough to be able to say it with a with authority enough to be convincing enough that um let's just put in there um let's see what happens when I put Jesuit
some serious trouble getting this to come up. Curious in the Senate, Roman dictators, list of Roman generals. Not too much. I don't expect to be there to be too much. It's all lies, right, Hitch? Let's see what Sulpicius means. What's going on here? Uh, Wiktionary. Oh, suspicious. <laughs> Uh, just look on Google. The name derives from the noble Latin name Sulpicius, meaning belonging to the Sulpicia, the generals. It's an ancient page. Ah, look at, do you see this? Look at this, guys. The name derives from the noble Latin Sulpicius, meaning belonging to the general Sulpicia. Belonging to the general Sulpicia. The generals Sulpicia was one of the most ancient patri patricia, uh, patriarch and well, the patriarchs' families at Rome. and produce a succession of distinguishable men from the foundation of the Republic to the Imperial period. So one of them was an emperor from 68 to 69. The friggin' the hierarchy. So, Caesar, whoa, Caesar comes from this family. Do you see that? Am I seeing that right? Involvement, what's up? He made regular use branches. So what is it like a rank? Kaiser. Salutable. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Hmm. Yeah, it's simple to say that our creator in the occult the occult meaning of our creator yeah. I mean these sulfakai sulfakia it's crazy. So it's not only who destroyed? Let's see about Jerusalem. Is that it? No, I don't think so. No Jerusalem. Well, let me just do this here. This is only for me now. Because I like to align it. Oh, yeah, here. 
So it's tight by year 70. Comic collection. What? They made a comic out of it. Roman de Sulfica. Sipica. Wow. All right, so let me see. What are we doing here? Let's go some of these things. These are preface. Life of Juno and Connolly, Juno State, Juno. Something in there. Let me put fall of Jerusalem. See which general. The destruction of Ju Judas was, uh, Jerusalem was by Titus. Secret satire society dot hork. God, what is this now? Wow, we got a lot of reading to do. Damn. 1910. See, there's nothing new here. Ah, look at this. So we took Titus wasn't a sulp sulpica, sulpicia. Did you see that? Hmm. Thought that might be interesting too. Thank you. Uh, okay, so here, Gaius Sulpicius Galba was elected a pontifex in 2002 in place of Titus. The name. So we can agree that this guy's got some kind of a Bloodline link, right? Hey, all the priests in Roman Catholicism have to have bloodlines leading back to, uh, they have to prove that they, they go back to the original apostles, right? Something like that. Guys, if, you, if you're just showing up, uh, involvement, if you could go we're, uh, to Creation Nation, I'll put the link um, in the description. It's our new channel where we're going to make videos, and then uh, live streams will be just what videos we made, you know. Streamline the uh, program here. Streamline the program. You can uh, go get some of the new new uh, merchandise, or you can uh, contribute to the channel. PayPal.me. Like, subscribe, please. Please like and subscribe. I don't like to beg. But you need to like and subscribe, and uh, thanks, Chunky. Appreciate it. All right, guys. You, you know you're not required to uh, show up at those uh, uh, video meetings, but you know if you want to see stuff or have some input, it'll be fun to see you there. But uh, we're just gonna—that's just gonna be a mess. I can tell you. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, it's gonna be a mess. I can assure you it's gonna be a mess. All right, eight concurrent viewers. We did not beat the um 50 minute average attention span of the <laughs> monkey monkey creation but it was good to see you hitch uh and uh kramer especially good to see you salute hitch good to see you and sinners your thank you as always a pleasure lisa Oten, involvement good to see you deb allen chunky else come 
my lovely wife, Christine. Marilyn, Buena Santa, Buena Santa. Uh, what, what, what do you say? Uh, Sorella. Mia Sorella, uh, Mia Bella Sorella. Mio, Mio Bella Sorello, right? I think I have to say it like that. I don't know. I took Italian for three years. I know three things. All right, folks. Uh, I'm going to cut out now, and uh, we will... Uh, I'll be here this week. I'm going to be popping in and out uh, all the time. And don't forget, church on Sunday at 11. That's that's the thing you can count on. Count on a crater church, 11, 11 a.m. Sunday, New York time, whatever the hell that is, and you're where you live now with this stupid gaining of an hour and i'm gonna that'll be the last word on that yeah love you guys okay you got uh you have 15 seconds to say goodbye to each other appreciate you being here really 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 made my day and uh i'll talk to you that's eight now too it's at eight now too oh my goodness <laughs> oh boy all right uh, folks thanks always a pleasure i salute you all peace